OK. So first of all, if I was going to do a problem like this, first thing I look at is simplifying this. xy over 3x. Those automatically simplify, right? So therefore, I'm left with y over 3. Now, typically, when we're doing a problem, we're simplifying a problem. A lot of times you guys will hear, especially in your directions, rationalizing the denominator. And that's what all these problems want you to do is rationalize the denominator. Okay? So it kind of comes into a little bit of issue. When we rationalize the denominator, we do not want our we do not want a radical in the denominator. So if I break this apart right now, you guys can see that there is a radical in the denominator, right? Or we don't want to take the radical of a fraction. Okay? So we need to get rid of this radical. Now when think about rationalizing the denominator, you have an idea? Yeah. Okay, well, hold on. I'm going to give, I'll ask you a pointed question because I want to make sure everybody understands your answer. I cannot take the square root of 3, correct? I can only take the nth root of a to the nth power. Yeah. So what power does 3 need to be raised to so I can take the square root of it? No, no, just listen to my question. You're right. But what power does 3 need to be raised to? 2. So what do I need? So right now, 3 is being raised to the first power, right? What do I need to multiply 3 by to so it's 3 squared, which is 9, which you said? Three. You just need to multiply by 3, right? Or 3 to the first power. Now, is there any rule up there that shows you that any number outside a radical multiplied by a number inside a radical can happen? Is there any rule that says, do you guys, like I'm saying this. Do, does the, do I have any? Do any of these rules that I have up here represent something that looks like this? No, because guess what? You can't do that. So, my question, what I'm trying to get to you guys, is the only thing we have about multiplying is you can only multiply numbers with radicals when you have the index is the same and they're both radicals. So I can't multiply 3 to the first power times square root of 3 to the first power, right? But what if I put this under a radical? Now can I do that? Yes. So when I multiply, you have to do whatever you did in the denominator. You have to do the numerator. Over here, you get the square root of 3y. Over here, you get 3 square root of 3 squared. And what's the square root of 3 squared? 3. Now, I have simplified my problem with no radical in the denominator, which is called rationalizing the denominator. All right? Um, I'm actually going to do one more example because that was kind of.